The American flag waves proudly outside Luke Hunter's home in Grass Valley, California, which is about an hour north of Sacramento. He's now 101 years old, but his mind is still sharp, especially when it comes to the events of December 7th, 1941. He was just 20 years old at the time. You'll never forget December 7th. I was quartermaster third class then, and uh, of course, when the plane blew, uh, ship blew up by the forward part, took a bomb down my number two turret, went through five decks into the lower handling room, and the forward handling room blew up, and that's what happened. Contra helped rescue dozens of burned crew members that day, and later took part in the underwater recovery of bodies. In all, the Arizona would lose 1,177 officers and crewmen. Only 335 survived. Reminders of that fateful day decorate his home, which resembles a museum. And that's a piece of the Arizona that the Admiral sent to my wife before she died. Contra was saddened to hear about the passing of the next to last Arizona survivor, Ken Potts, who was 102 years old. The two had become good friends by going to reunions. But now that number has dwindled to just one. Contra credits his longevity to being in good shape and the prayers of his late sister, who was a nun. She did all the praying for me all my life. That's what kept me going. But hard to say is just whenever God wants you, he's going to take you down. Conter's children take turns looking after him. His daughter, Luann, was named after her father. Yes, very proud of that. We're just blessed as a family to still have him around. He's very positive. He's always happy. He loves to continue to do, you know, short interviews, especially for the younger generation, just to keep the, the, um, the interest of the history, especially World War II, ongoing, because he is the last generation and uh, it's dwindling quickly. You know, God has his plan and we can't mess up that plan. And when he's called home, he'll be called home. But one thing his doctor always said was, Lou, I'm gonna keep you healthy enough. You're gonna be the last man standing. <laughs> After Pearl Harbor, Contra became a pilot and flew hundreds of rescue missions. He also saw combat in the Korean War and created the Navy's first survival, evasion, resistance, and escape program. Remember me as, as a good Navy man and a good Navy American citizen and fight for the United States forever? This is our country. It's free. A book about his amazing life is now available. Contra has signed more than 600 copies, and they have all sold out at the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center. His story is nearly complete, but he has one last mission, to return to Hawaii for one more December 7th memorial ceremony. Make it out one more time, you bet. <laughs>